My name is Sam and I'm lucky enough to be Kate's maid of honor tonight. I bet you're asking yourself, how does Kate from Scroon Lake know this Long Island girl standing up here? Well, let me tell you the funny story of how me and Kate met and became the best of friends. It all started 12 years ago when we both were placed into dorms right next to each other at good old SUNY Plattsburgh. When we were introduced ourselves to each other the first day of school, she told me she was in the outdoors club at school and as a Long Island girl who has never been upstate in her whole life and this was the first time I said to myself wow this girl is not gonna go out with me tonight and she's not gonna take shots with me tonight <laughs> when the first weekend came around we decided to go out together and the rest is history after that we lived next to each other went to every single party at college together made friends together, and by the end of the year, Kate was wearing all my clothes, joined the sorority with me, and I never, ever, ever heard about the Outdoors Club again. <laughs> that same freshman year, I met Mr. Jake over here. Kate introduced me to Jake, her cute friend from home that she had a crush on. Not part of the Outdoors Club, but was in the fishing club. <laughs> They had a romance forming freshman year, but sadly they went their separate ways and stayed friends over the years. When, she, they, when they rekindled things a few years ago, I said to myself, this is gonna be the one, he's it. She could not stop talking about you, by the way. Don't tell her, is it though? <laughs> she liked him so much freshman year, they've come back together older, wiser, more mature, and still wanting to be together. Kate, you are one of the most amazing people I know. You are my best friend. The thoughtfulness for others you have, the kind heart and fun-loving spirit are only a few reasons that I love you. The fact that you are down to do whatever, whenever is only a few reasons you are my best friend, and I'm so glad you found a guy like Jake who appreciates all of that in you. So I'd like to start by saying, I've never thought about my brother more in my life than I have in preparing for this speech. <laughs> my wife and I were married a year and a half ago. And I could not stop crying. Some of you guys may have seen me cry tonight a couple times. <laughs> During the ceremony, I happened to notice our other brother, Chris, was also teary-eyed, as well as our cousin, Charlie Herbert, who was sitting next to Chris, who was also crying tonight numerous times. <laughs> I looked a little further, and there's Jake, with zero emotion on his face. <laughs> Possibly thinking, when can I get out of this suit? <laughs> now the theme of Father Scott's homily that day was life is like a schoolhouse and love is the lesson. At the end of his homily, he says, what more is there in this life than love? Now I wasn't sitting next to Jake, Charlie Kepler was sitting next to Jake, 
And Charlie Kepler tells me after the Mass that at those beautiful words, Jake muttered, shooting ducks. <laughs> it's my favorite story of Jake. The story of Jake and Kate actually starts, as you guys have heard, approximately 15 years ago. We used to have pizza parties with our cousins next door. Our cousin Casey would go and get the pizza and wings, and Jake started going with her. And as she tells it, she thought he was going to be a nice guy and to help her. But she finds out after a few of these trips that Jake was actually going because he liked the girl behind the counter. <laughs> Enter beautiful Kate Rose. <laughs> Fast forward to when they be began dating. This is also one of my favorite thoughts about Jake. We were ice fishing on Scroon Lake for the annual ice fishing derby. And Jake's not the kind of guy that likes to lend things, for a while especially to me. And I happened to notice Jake's demeanor at the time was different that year. And he seemed so fulfilled, happy. It felt a little weird to see him in that way. And <laughs> So I thought I'm going to see if he'll let me borrow one of his Milwaukee batteries. Something he would definitely say no to. In this case, he said sure. Just like that. He was like, sure. I'm like, no way. Something is wrong here. Something's different. But that's how I knew when the two of you started dating that it was, there was something different about the two of you. And here we are today at this beautiful venue with this beautiful couple to celebrate the commitment they have made to each other. And at that, I would like everybody to raise their glasses to the newest Mr. and Mrs. Jansen. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. 